Hello, third grade. For today's reading lesson, let's talk about our target. Our target is I can read and understand the meaning of common prefixes. So what is a prefix? A prefix is, an, is added to the beginning of a base word. A base word is a word that can exist in context all by itself. It has its own meaning. However, when a prefix is added to the front of it, prefixes such as re, pre, un, and dis, it changes the meaning of the word. So when you add a prefix to a base or root word, it changes the meaning. Each of these prefixes mean something. Re means to do again. Pre means before. Un means not. Dis means no or not. So when you add these to a root word such as happy, like, and you put un in front of happy, you get unhappy. That changes the word completely. View is the, in this example, view is the root word. If you put pre in front of that, that changes the meaning of view because to, to view something means to see. Well, if you put preview, pre in front of view, you get preview, that means to see before, like you are previewing the movie before it is released. If you preview a movie, you are seeing it before it's released. Pre means before. Now, if you take pre off that word, you just have view, and view just means to see, so it changes the meaning completely. We reviewed our, the common prefixes that we learned last week. We learned about 10 prefixes last week. Uh, we learned about dis. We learned that dis, m, like impossible, disobey, and un, like an untie. These three all mean not or no. Impossible, not possible. Disobey not following directions or rules. Untie, not tied. We learned that by here means to, like in bicycle. And we also learned that over here, like an overload, if, when added to root words, means excessive or too much. We already talked about pre, meaning before. Preheat, heat the oven before you put the pizza in. Re, re now means to do it again, review, rewrite, review here, review is a good example for that one. This, we, to view something is to see it, well, to review it is to see it again. We've already seen these before, so when we review something, we are seeing what we already learned again, another time. Co, we learned that co means to do with, or together with someone or something, like co-worker. Anti means against. Anti-septic, when something is septic, it, is, it, has, it contains bacteria and it's very, it's full of germs. Well, antiseptic is the opposite of that. It fights against that, fights against bacteria. Now, hyper, when I add it to word, root words such as active, someone is active, they're already, moving around a lot. Well, if they're hyperactive, they're excessively active. So it's an exaggeration of being active. So dis, m, un, over, by, re, anti, pre, co, hyper. We learned all of those last week. We're going to add five more to that today. So We went to our menu here and we were introduced to five more prefixes from our list. So we learned anti, bi, co, dis, hyper, and m last week. This week we're going to learn in, mid, many, miss, and non. That's what we're going to learn today. Let's get started. Let's start with in. Now, n is a prefix that can be added to a root word, and it means not. That's easy to remember. That goes along with on and dis and m. Now we can add n to the not section. If something is correct, 
that means it's right. Well, if it's incorrect, that means it's not right. It's wrong. The root word here is active. Well, if you're active, you always, you're moving around a lot. Well, if you're inactive, you don't, you're not active. That means you, you don't move around a whole lot. Visible, when something is visible, you can see it clearly. Well, invisible means you, you can't be seen. You're not seen, you're not visible. So if you've ever seen in, in the front of words, I-N, that is a prefix to a base word. Have you ever seen it in front of a base word? Remember, base words are words that can be were in in literature and in anything in text that we read um, and act on its own accord. That means correct is a word to itself and doesn't need any help. Active is a word to itself. Invisible is a word to itself, and they all have meaning. Well, if you put prefixes in front of those words, it changes it, okay? It gives it a different meaning. In means not. So the magic puzzle becomes invisible at night. Invisible means not visible. We see it disappeared. We can't see it. Not visible. So that is in. In means not along with dis and m and un. So let's move on to mid. So when you think of mid, think of middle because mid means middle. Day is a word, a root word all to itself. But if you add mid to it, Midday means in the middle of the day. Field is a place all to itself. But if you put mid in front of it, it tells you that our focus is on the middle of the field. Life. Life is a long period of time. To be more exact on what point of time you are in your life, if you add mid to that, that means the middle of your life. Midlife, in the middle of your of your life. So the children were excited about the midterm outing. Ooh, they must have gotten good grades. Midterm, we have our midterm coming up. That means in the middle of the term. We're in the middle of our second nine weeks. Middle means, mid means middle. Midterm, middle of the term. So that's mid. So we have in, mid, our next one is mini. Well, that one's super easy to remember. Mini is a prefix that means small. When you add mini to something, if you add mini to a root word, it changes it to a smaller meaning, like skirt. Skirt, what do you mean? Is it a long skirt, medium skirt? Well, if you put mini on there, it means it's a short skirt. Van. A small van. Series. Mini series. A short series. Probably many series have about like three episodes or so. Uh, a good decent series has about 15 or more. So, mini means short. Tammy wore a mini skirt to the puzzle convention. Mini means small. She had a small skirt on. It's mini. Mini. In, mid, mini, miss is our next one. Now, miss is a fun one. Miss means not. It's another one that means not, but this one also means incorrect. So, use. To use something means to pick it up and put it to use, right? Well, if you misuse something, that means you're not using it correctly. It's incorrect use. Understood. If you're misunderstood, that means nobody's understanding. You're not being understood. Misjudge. To judge something is to think critically about a situation or a person. Um, but you can misjudge people and you can misjudge a situation all the time. That is That goes towards the meaning of being incorrect, okay? You're incorrect. You thought you were right, but you're wrong. You misjudged. Don't misbehave. Behave is a word, a root word all to itself. Behave. You better behave. That means to be good. But if you misbehave on the bus, boy, that means you had an incorrect behavior. That means you had an incorrect behavior. Miss means incorrect or not. Now, we have in, mid, mini, miss. Our last one today, and we'll finish the other ones tomorrow, 
Our last one today is non. Non means not or without. It's another one that means not. This one also means without. So fiction. To be nonfiction means it's a book without fiction in it. A book without fiction. Stick. A pan without stickiness in it. Human. Not human. Non-human is not human. Non-stick, non-fiction. Not or without. Non. Tim used a non-stick pan to cook the puzzle-shaped pancake. That's hard to make. Non means not or without. <coughs> this pan is without <coughs> stickiness. So that is our five new today. We have in, mid, many, miss, and non. So go ahead and complete your prefix exit ticket and rewatch this video if need be. Take care, third graders.